Creating a list of citations can often be the most tedious part of finishing up a paper or project. Luckily, the library catalog, as well as many databases and Google Scholar, now have built-in citation generators in many different citation styles. Even though they might look like they are correct, make sure to always check each automatically produced citation by using the Purdue Online Writing Lab's amazing resources. Okay, so here is how it works. Let's start with records in the library catalog. When looking at a results list of records, select the three little dots next to the IPA right-hand corner of the brief record. This will open up a number of options, one of which is Citation. Select this to generate a citation for the selected brief record in either APA 6th edition, Chicago Turabian, Harvard 1, and MLA 8th edition citation style. When looking directly at a full record, let's say after you've read the abstract or from a saved link, again select the Citation button to generate the same set of citations. Many databases also have a built-in citation generator. Let's take a look at both EBSCO-hosted databases as well as ProQuest-hosted databases. In EBSCO-hosted databases, you can only create a citation when looking at the detailed record for a particular article. Select Cite on the right-hand side of the page to generate a citation in a huge number of citation styles. In ProQuest-hosted databases, you can again only generate a citation when looking at the detailed record for a resource. Select Cite on the right-hand side of the page, and then select the citation style you are using. In Google Scholar, however, you can generate your citation right from the record in the results list by clicking on the quotation marks underneath the brief record. A pop-up will appear which has a citation for this resource in a huge number of citation styles. So just copy and paste these automatically generated citations into your bibliography, works cited list, or your notes. But remember to check each and every one against the examples provided by the Purdue Online Writing Lab to make sure each period, space, or abbreviation is correct. If you have any questions, remember, ask a librarian.